Hi everybody, it's Derek with Eagles of Derek and the Brew and Harry Feed X623 on Instagram. It's a great day here in Michigan. It's about to thunderstorm pretty heavily later this afternoon, so I thought I'd come out this morning. It's a little breezy, but it's nice. Uh, hope you all are having a wonderful day and a blessed week. And this week I wanted to encourage you with passages out of Luke about the prodigal son, but then also tie that into the story of Peter during the time of Jesus' crucifixion. Uh, the story of the prodigal son goes like this. Uh, the father, the one son, the young son's like, you know what, God, Dad, I want my share of my inheritance and I want to get out of here. Dad's like, are you sure? He's like, yep. So the dad gives him his portion of the inheritance, which in those days pretty much means, Dad, I wish you were dead. I want your money. Goes out, has a great time, blows it, has no money left over. It's like, I'm starving. I don't know what to do. Ends up getting a job as like a servant feeding the pigs. And then all of a sudden it hits him and he's like, wait. I'm here digging for scraps, feeding pigs, when the servants at my dad's house are eating better than I am. I'm gonna go back home, ask for forgiveness, and maybe I can get a job as a servant back home. So here's the cool part. When he gets back home, the dad has been looking for him and sees him, runs up to him, gives him a giant hug. And I was like, man, son, I'm so glad you're back. Tells one of his servants to go get one of his fanciest robes and slaughter one of the healthiest casts for a party. My son has come home. That's just like God. We've accepted Christ. And maybe we go off, we take his inheritance of accepting Christ's eternal life, and we go off astray and we do some crazy stuff. But God loves us so much that he is willing to forgive you again. To make you shiny and bright again. He doesn't care what you've gone and done. He loves you and wants you to be with him. That's what he cares for. The other story I had talking about Peter was during the trials that Jesus was going through uh, when they was going to be crucified. Peter at the time was hovering around the city kind of sneakily watching the, the trials and was asked three times if he knew that Jesus guy. And three times he denied Jesus. Later, after Jesus has been risen from the dead, Peter and a bunch of guys are out fishing. When they get to shore, Jesus asks Peter, do you love me? He goes, of course I do. Jesus says, feed my sheep. Jesus goes, Peter, do you love me? Of course I do, you know I do. Peter, feed my sheep. And third time, Peter, do you love me? Lord, you know I do. He goes, feed my sheep. When I looked into the backstory, the three times Jesus asked Peter, do you love me? Was to forgive him of the three times of being denied. And Peter goes on to be one of the prime people to bring people to know Jesus down the road after Jesus has passed away, or didn't pass away, he rose from the, he gets resurrected into heaven. He's one of the prime people to bring people to know Jesus. Uh, and I say all this today to say, no matter what you have done, Jesus loves you and he wants you to be with him in heaven. He wants you to join the family. It doesn't matter what you've done. doesn't matter how bad it seems. It's nothing in comparison to the amount of love that God has for you. You are chosen. He loves you. He wants you to join him in his family. There's another story in that same chapter about the prodigal son, about the lost sheep, where the shepherd looks, sees the sheep is missing. He goes out and looks for that one lost sheep. Even if you're the one lost sheep, Jesus will leave the flock and go find you and carry you home because you matter that much. I don't care what you've done, what you've been through, no matter how much dirt it feels, you feel too much grimy, slimy, just disgusting. There's no way God can forgive you. He will because he loves you. And I want to give you guys a chance today to accept Christ. I don't ever want to leave you guys without a chance. 
So I'm just going to go straight to it. If you want to accept Christ today and join his family and be under his covenant of love and joy and peace and the wisdom that he gives, um, it's as simple as this, guys. Lord Jesus, I thank you for today and all you've done. I pray that you would come into my heart. You would forgive me. You would clean me out. Kind of like when you're cleaning the grot of like the shower or something, you have to scrape all the gook out of it. I pray that you would clean all the nastiness out of our hearts, out of our bodies, out of our minds to make us a new creation, brand new vessels for you to use. We thank you for all that you're gonna use us for and all the blessings that are gonna come. But we don't look for the blessings. We just want the relationship with you. We thank you that we get to have a new relationship with you today, this moment, this hour, this year. We thank you that we get to start anew with you. In Jesus' name, amen. That's all I got today, guys. Just to let you know that no matter what you've gone through or what you've done, it doesn't matter. God still loves you and cares for you and wants the best for you. May you all have a blessed week. Take care and God bless.